Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. In this short video, I'm telling you all about my Alpa Cool 20 liter fridge that I bought from Amazon. So let's get started. I will first say that I purchased this 20 liter 12 volt Alpa Cool fridge last year on Amazon. I bought it on Black Friday, so I got a heck of a deal on it. I think I spent $150 on it. Normally they run about 200. So to power my Alpacool fridge, I use the Jackery 240 power station. I want to show you that I haven't had my fridge plugged in today. So currently I have it on eco mode. As you can see, it's 84 degrees right now, but I have it set to 40 degrees. So it's working on getting down to that. Now, while it's, while it's dr drawing power, it's drawing about 40 watts of power because it takes quite a bit to get it down to temperature but I'll show you, once it is down to temperature, I'll show you how much power it draws from my Jackery. Now, while I wait for my fridge to cool down, I will show you that I have some really cool stickers on my fridge <laughs> because I'm obsessed with stickers. You can get your Adventuring with Amanda sticker in my shop, link in the description. But like I said, this is a 20 liter fridge. So I was using my Yeti 35 liter, but I decided to try and use my fridge because Turns out there's pros and cons to each. Uh, with the Yeti cooler, you have to always worry about ice, and with the fridge, you have to worry about power. So um, the 20 liter fridge, let me open it up, um, is a great size. I put a can and a water bottle in here so you could see kind of what the size is, but what's nice is that it has a raised top, so I can fit a whole uh, gallon of milk in here without it being squished. So. It's 20 liters, which if you compare it to the Yeti 35 liter, it's probably about the same because with the Yeti you have to use ice and with the refrigerator you don't. So the Alpcool plugs in right here. And then the cord is extremely long. I mean, it goes all the way around my fridge. Extremely long, so however you power your fridge with a 12 volt you should be able to reach with the cord now the fridge does come with a regular wall edison outlet plug as well but it's not nearly as long and i'm assuming that most people are more apt to use the the 12 volt uh, hookup I do keep my fridge uh, sitting behind my passenger seat at all times, but it does have um, handles, so it is easy to lift and move. And it is actually um, fairly lightweight, so it just won't add a lot of weight to your vehicle or van or RV or whatever it is um, that you're using. But it just, it really works out well right next to my bed and behind my, my passenger seat for sure. Now, there are different settings that you can go through. I honestly have not gone through them all because it was pretty well set already. Um, once I plugged in my fridge, it was kind of like plug and play. I like to keep it between 39, like around 39 and 40 degrees. Otherwise, I noticed if I get down to like 37, my stuff will start to freeze. So keep in mind that also my fridge is sitting in the heat right now. So it is going to take longer to get down to temperature. I will also say that I have solar power, so solar is how I charge my Jackery and keep everything running. Unless I'm driving, then I just charge my Jackery with my vehicle, but my fridge is always plugged into my Jackery. My Jackery 240 Explorer will last about 24 hours running my fridge uh, once it's down to to temperature um, so I do recommend getting a bigger Jackery or always having a way to charge your Jackery if you're going to uh, do it that way like I said I have solar or I use my van I put my Jackery on my white shelves on the other side on the bottom and the cord does reach so it works out really well but uh, so like I said the the Alpacool fridge the 20 liter it'll last about 24 hours on the Jackery 240 and that's if it's down to temperature and I'm not really using my Jackery for much else a really nice thing about this fridge is it's super quiet. It's running right now and you can probably not hear it or barely. So yeah, it's super quiet. It's not gonna keep you up at night, not gonna cause a lot of disturbance or anything like that, which is phenomenal. So when um, it's at 46 degrees right now, it's still drawing about 
42 watts or so, but once it's down to temperature, it'll only draw about two to three watts uh, consistently just to, to have power. So that is going to be all for this video. Let me know if you have any uh, questions or comments or feedback and uh, I will get to those in the comment section and Winston and I will see you later.